Welcome to Jolie Living. In part nine of our Newfoundland series, we will be exploring the Bonavista Peninsula. Trinity cabins have a nice little campground where we set up base camp for a few days. Trinity is a small historic fishing town that has been growing in the past few, few years due to an increase in tourism. We will head up to Elliston to a great puffin viewing site, go for a whale watching adventure out of Princeton, grab a beer at Port Rexton Brewery, and have an amazing bike ride out of the town of Bonavista. While in Trinity, a visit to the Rising Tide Theater is a must. We saw two shows and they were great. Puffins nest on small islands every summer just off the coast of Newfoundland. The puffin viewing site near Elliston is a great place to see puffins up close because they are nesting on an island just a hundred feet away from the mainland. It is a fairly easy walk out to the point. It is a little rocky but I managed fine with the help of my hiking poles. If you sit down or at least be still for a few moments the colorful birds fly up to the edge and start walking around. They don't seem to mind the people and seem to be a bit curious or at least tolerant. Rebecca took some amazing photos on this day. She did have her 300 millimeter telephoto, but I think that level of zoom was only needed when you wanted to count the eyelashes on the puffins. We felt very lucky to get to experience the puffins in this manner before we had only seen them from boats and uh, it's just nice to sit still and have them running and flying all around you. It can be a bit windy at times, but you get used to that. And yes, you won't be the only people there most likely. There are other people there, but the puffins don't seem to mind. Everybody seems to stay back, give them room, and let them be themselves. Puffins form long-term pair bonds or relationships. The female lays a single egg and both parents incubate the egg and feed the chick or puffling. After breeding, puffins winter at sea, usually far from coasts and often extending south of the breeding range. After spending a bit of time with the Atlantic Puffin, it is easy to understand why it is the provincial bird of Newfoundland and Labrador. We cannot say enough about our experience with Sea of Wales Adventures, owned and operated by Chris and Shauna Prince out of Trinity. Their boat is a 12-passenger Zodiac that is quick and nimble and allows Chris to get you to the whales. You will put on a flotation suit that will keep you warm and comfortable good, for the uh, ride. Feel Use 
her hands when they live in that land. And her bones are in the land, just like her fingers. Chris and passengers are constantly scanning the horizon for any activity on the water. He is also on the radio with other folks trying to find out the most recent place, places whales have been seen. He worked hard and found this mother and yearling calf that we watched for over half an hour. There was a bit of salt water on my camera lens that I unfortunately never got cleaned off but Rebecca's photographs more than made up for that in my mind. I think Rebecca did an amazing job photographing these tail fin shots and the belly and peck fin of the other whale. It uh, is pretty special to focus while the boat's moving and uh, get this great of a shot is just amazing. Well done. The whales just kept playing. I could have watched them all day long if they would have stayed there and if we had the time. Some of the caves and coast we saw on this trip can be seen in the latest Peter Pan movie. We haven't seen the movie yet, but we can't wait. Chris is a great tour guide. If you ever get the opportunity, we highly recommend a tour with Sea of Wales Adventures. I'll put a link to their webpage in the description down below. After the boat ride, we went to Port Rexton Brewing Company to have a beer, look at photos, and relive the adventure we had just had. The next day, we drove the truck to the town of Bonavista. We parked near the grocery store, unloaded our bikes, and headed north to the Cape Bonavista Lighthouse where we saw more puffins and whales, all from shore, and then proceeded to ride back towards town and follow the coastline out to Dungeon Provincial Park. It was a calm day and a easy ride along the dirt road as we head towards Dungeon Provincial Park. The coastline just is so rugged it's amazing and then to ride out on these small little uh, peninsulas in their in their own right was just something amazing and uh, we continued to see whales 
as we rode along just off in the distance. And here is the dungeon itself, which actually when you get a higher view, it's kind of a heart shape. Of course, we had to get a selfie with our bike helmets on at the dungeon. Then we headed further down the road towards Spiller's Cove with even more amazing scenery. It was getting a little later in the day. It was pretty calm and we were sitting there just watching whales offshore. You can barely see the spouts in the video, but Rebecca's telephoto got a couple of shots of the tails. One more last selfie and then on to dinner in town at the Quint Quintal Cafe. The evening finished up with a nice rainbow over the harbor. Hope you enjoyed this as much as we did. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook and we'll see you next time.